I have a wife and a dog, and we just bought a house. We have a new house. It's, uh, it was built in the 20s, but it was flipped in 2014, which means it's haunted, but it has a lovely kitchen backsplash. <laughs> Actually, we didn't buy a house, a bank bought a house, and I'm allowed to keep my shirts and pants there while I pay it off for 30 years. The woman from the bank came over and she showed me my mortgage broken down month by month for 30 years. And she said, so for instance, this is what you'll pay in July of 2029. And I burst out laughing. I was like, 2029? That's not a real year. By 2029, I'll be drinking moon juice with President Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I'm not going to be writing you a paper check. I like having a house, but I loved looking for a house because I love real estate agents. I mean, they are the true heroes. They really are. Have you ever watched HGTV? Real estate agents have to deal with the dumbest people in the world making the biggest decisions of their lives. Every episode of HGTV is like, Craig and Stasia are looking for a two-story A-frame that's near Craig's job in the downtown, but also satisfies Stasia's need to be near the beach, which is nowhere near Craig's job. With three children and nine on the way, and a max budget of seven dollars, Let's see what Lori Joe can do on this week's episode of You Don't Deserve a Beach House. <laughs>